Yes, China has been, uh, Greg, it's been positioning itself as a propagator for global peace and it has been uh, calling its aggressions in Taiwan as an effort for peaceful reunification. It has also come up with that 12-point peace plan to bring Russia and Ukraine to peace. Do you feel the recent comments which have been made by the ambassador to France from China has blown the lid off China's true mentality? Well, surely it's, it's had some repercussions and, and any doubts that, that the, the world had about China and any implications from this comment are obvious that, you know, China's only really interested in international law that serves their interests, their, and even we could call them imperial interests. So, you know, it shouldn't come as a, as a surprise after the, the meeting uh, between Macron and Xi um, in, in Beijing you know, suggesting that Europe should not take the, take the side of Taiwan in any potential conflict. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's quite obvious. But also there's implications for, you know, beyond Taiwan. There, you know, there's, there's uh, you know, there's the islands off the, off the coast of Japan and in the Western Pacific. There's the borderlands with India. So, yes, I think this was a, obviously a mistake, but also very troubling and, and with geopolitical implications beyond the Ukraine comment. Greg, the EU foreign policy chief Joseph Borrell said that the bloc would assess and recalibrate its strategy towards China. How do you feel this statement will affect EU and China relations? Well, it, it surely is going to have a negative effect. But if, if anything, you know, it, it will encourage the EU to be uh, very cautious in how they deal with China. And I think they will ultimately reject the implications that came from President Macron. Uh, you know, clearly that was a mistake. But I think it's, it, it does suggest that, you know, we should, the West should be worried about China, not just regarding the comments about the, so, the former Soviet states, but also, uh, you know, again, the implications for Chinese ambitions or the ambitions of the CCP in the region. So there, there's, I think it, it's, time, it's probably a good moment for the EU to really consider uh, some of the, you know, the relationship with China and, and you know, looking back at 2018, the, the so-called MOU between Italy and China. Those are all things that, you know, I'm sure there, there will be some regrets. And it, if anything, it will encourage the EU to be more cautious. Thank you for joining in, Greg. Thank you for all those updates. Thanks, Lemon.